Assalamu alaikum, welcome everybody to a new video. Thank you for watching and listening. Before we start to talk about the game of uh, Morocco versus Malawi, congratulations for uh, all the Moroccan fans, all the Moroccan national team fans. Congratulations, Mabrouk with the win. Um, <coughs> amazing game, crazy game. And uh, yeah, we're gonna give in this video a short reaction uh, on this game where, uh, yeah, uh, Malawi first scored an amazing goal. Uh, uh from their forward player and uh yeah this was one of the rare times that we see uh yesin bono make a mistake uh with our with the national team but uh you know the player of malawi deserves every credit and uh yeah beautiful goal uh, from him the start of our national team was yeah very hard to see um players were all over the place didn't uh find the solutions but then after that goal if, i think five ten minutes after that goal then morocco started uh started the machine and uh yeah we saw uh, what happened a lot of big chances hitting the post a goalkeeper with two amazing saves uh a lot a lot of chances uh, from uh, our places uh, players created and uh what most uh, made me happy in the first half is the directly play uh, of our national team um like i said in the game against uh, ghana and uh, also a bit against gabon uh, our positioning and our attacking play was very slow um and uh safe and uh, this time not they take the risks um they play directly and uh, yeah you see how much uh, danger you can create uh, at the opponent um so after that goal, dominating uh, Morocco, controlling the game, one criticize, and that is uh, the counter attacks of Malawi. Uh, that shouldn't be uh, uh, allowed and possible that uh, you are in the first half, yeah, um, behind, but that is not uh, a reason because you are attacking and already in the first half gives so much space away, so much chances for them, even they had not a lot of players up front to be dangerous at the counter. So uh, let's hope uh, the team will be alert on it and aware of it, so it won't happen uh, again. And it made me, it, it surprised me uh, because in the games against uh, Ghana, but especially Jazur or Komar, I, was, <laughs> I say it in Arabic, uh, sorry, the Komor, um, especially in the game against uh, the Komor, we played very attackingly, but they hadn't this kind of counters that we saw today. Also against Rana, there were some moments that you would think, oh, they now can start a big counter or a reaction, but then uh, the players solved it easily and were very good uh, organized. And yeah, this time not. And it cannot be because now you are uh, behind that you already in the first half give uh, those uh, counters away uh, that normally you see that happen when you reach the second half and it is like 65 minute or 70 minute when you starting to make big risks then you start to see those counter attacks but uh, at our national team it already happened in the first half so this is a big point to be alert of it and yeah, like i said it surprised me because I was thinking after the game against Rana and uh, uh, the Comor that uh, this is uh, uh, not going to be a problem in this tournament. Uh, like in previous tournaments, we were sometimes all over the place after we lose the ball and uh, bad organized and then uh, yeah, get uh, cut uh, with the counter. Um, so uh, a lot of uh, confidence gave me the games against Rana and uh, the Comor. But yeah, today... Uh, yeah, it was something else so let's hope we won't see that again and yeah and then in the second half uh, especially in the beginning um our national team started where they ended the first half keeping attacking uh, keep attacking on uh, malawi great creativity from the players in the midfield and up front and then uh, asaf uh, juninho hakimi with an amazing free kick let's call him just uh, asaf juninho hakimi because amazing uh, what uh, what still he can bring uh, i mean a perfect right back fast defensively top attackingly even maybe better with his goals assists and uh, qualities uh, attacking wise 
and now also becoming a free kick master already has i think three free kicks scored with the national team one before the tournament and now two in the tournament so uh, amazing amazing right back very uh, morocco is very blessed with uh, him as a right back and uh, yeah amazing uh, easily uh, you can say that uh, he is at this moment the best right back and uh, for sure uh, you can't left him out in the top three um but uh, amazing amazing right back um and also uh, i've enjoyed very much sufian bufal and uh, yeah i think we see now the prime sufian bufal with our national team and uh yeah amazing how he dribbles the skills the creativity um how much possibilities he have how much defenders the opponent need to stop him uh, it's just amazing amazing to have uh, buffo in such a form and let's hope he can continue this it's actually for him a, uh, a pity that uh, this tournament is uh, in this period of the year if this tournament was in the summer and he performed like this directly clubs are gonna buy him uh, because of uh, the transfer window is uh, at that time open now also it's open but now it's very difficult uh, to switch from club still five or six days uh, until uh, the market uh, close so uh, that's a pity for him now it is for him uh, the job to when he goes back to his club keep this level keep this performances at this level and then i'm for sure that he can make a big transfer this uh, summer and uh, so nice to see him uh, on this level you also think how many years he like wasted uh, at uh, uh, southampton but uh, yeah finally he's now uh, showing his potential consistently and uh, yeah let's hope uh, he will finish this tournament very well and then uh, keeps this level uh, at his club and then uh, i'm for sure that he still can make a very big transfer maybe to a top club in france but uh, he's known in Spain, so also from there can come a very nice club. Uh, further players who deserves a mention, um, of course, uh, the midfielders, uh, Imran Luza and uh, Salim Amlah, I think, uh, deserve a mention. Uh, not all the time were good placed, especially when uh, Malawi started to with the counters but uh, i think they had uh, a good game sufian amrabat like always defensively good but you saw at moments this game when the opponent pressure him or when he has a moment that he don't know uh, that he doesn't know what he needs to do with the ball that he lose it or give away uh, a dangerous situation and in a previous video on my channel we talked about his probably transfer to tottenham that's something uh, he needs to uh, work on it he needs to work uh, on his uh, moments when he has to um, improve the position in uh, of his team improve the attacks for the team uh, that's something he uh, needs to work on it and then he can be a very complete mid midfielder for tottenham and of course our national team um, yeah for the rest uh, like i said uh, good game uh, attackingly uh, first off, defensively not. Let's hope uh, that will change. And uh, yeah, happy, happy with uh, that we uh, are going through. Very happy that uh, we finally win a knockout uh, round game at the uh, Africa Cup. Everybody knows last time was at 2004. So uh, yeah, let's hope uh, uh, the Lions can uh, go on and uh, make us uh, more happy uh, this tournament. Give me in the comments your reaction on this game your reaction on Asraf Hakimi on Bufal on everybody and uh, I see you in the next uh, videos inshallah assalamu alaikum